What's up, guys? Welcome to Rock Block. Uh, Happy New Year. M M Merry Christmas. <laughs> and... ah! What's up, guys? Welcome back to Rock Block. First episode of 2010. I'm sorry, I couldn't. I haven't made an episode in two weeks. It was because that I was on Christmas vacation. It's a lazy time. But, you know, I'm back, so, um... Let's get started. Now, this is the kind of news that, that really excites me, and it made my day. And on every episode, we seem to be talking about Green Day and their rise to... Wowness. But this is good news. This is this is awesome. The stage musical of Green Day's American Idiot will begin its run at Broadway's St. James Theater, uh, starting with the preview performances on March 24th, 2010. Uh, it was announced today. The producer of produ the producers of the musical announced it today, so wow. The musical is directed by Spring Awakenings Michael Mayer and featuring songs um from all of American Idiot in its entirety, and, um, what's it called, and, uh, 21st Century Breakdown, but not all the songs from 21st Century Breakdown, just a few that sort of go with the storyline. And every week it had in, uh, in California, it was eight straight weeks of sold outness. But the show's official New York opening night is April 10th, so... Yeah, I'm gonna get tickets now. Bill Joe Armstrong, Green Day's lead singer and uh, guitarist, says that experiencing American Idiot on stage in Berkeley was incredible. Michael Mayer was able to bring life to the characters of American Idiot, and Tom Kitt's musical arrangements are breathtaking. We're so proud that the show is coming to Broadway. As am I, Billy Joe. As am I. The show's Broadway cast will officially be announced shortly, but actor John Gallagher Jr. is rumored to be rep rep reprising the lead role of Johnny um, on The Great White Way. I guess you gotta see the musical to understand that. But yet, yeah, previews for the show are going to start March 24th this year, so if you want to get tickets, get them now, probably. If, what, well, get them... Get Probably not now, but you know, once they go on sale, which will be when I get them. And regular, and the first premiere of the show will be um, officially on April tenth. <laughs> Moving on. Ow! There's another thing where you we're gonna give you three news things at once. Numero one. The cast of Donald Trump's new Celebrity Apprentice has been confirmed on March 14th, um, the fresh season featuring Brett Michaels, Sharon Osbourne, and Cyndi Lauper will begin airing on NBC. Sandro, the singer known as Argentina's Elvis, has died from complications steam stemming from a heart and lung transplant surgery at the age of 64. Sandro, born as Roberto Sanchez, um, was the first Latin American singer to perform at New York's famed Madison Square Garden. Num that, that, that was number two. And number three, Los Angeles' uh, Roxy Theater will host the jam for Ron, a Ron Ashton on January 13th. Fellow Stooges Scott Ashton, Mike Watt, and Steve, Ma Steve McKay, Mac McKay, We'll perform along with Jane's Addiction, Stephen Perkins, um, the Chili Peppers, Chad Smith, and um, more special guests. Moving on! Now here's some, here's some, here's some Led Zeppelin news. Some genius finally asked a member of Led Zeppelin when the reunion was going to be. That member was Jimmy Page. <laughs> Jimmy Page is planning to work on new music in 2010, but despite making it clear he'd be he'd welcome a Led Zeppelin reunion, um, he refuses to carry the band's um, moniker, moniker without Plant's involvement. So basically, he doesn't want if. 
Robert Plant's not going. It's not happening. Basically, what what that what that was. Jimmy says that you'd better ask Robert Plant what the future of Led Zeppelin is. Musicians can always play together, but I don't think you can go out with um, with a band called Led Zeppelin if you haven't got the original vocalists. Words like a god. Robert Plant recently sparked speculation he might reform the band once more for the iconic UK music festival um, Glottonsbury next summer after admitting he'd be. He'd been in talks with organi organizer Michael Evans, e Evis. Okay, but he has continued. Uh, di but he has continually dismissed reports. Uh, they will regroup. So yeah, you might see Led Zeppelin for another show. That's good. Although I'm not. I can't. Uh, I'm 13. I, I can't fly to UK by myself. But maybe may may maybe my dad will take me. And that basically wraps up Rock Block today, but we got Song of the Week. Alright guys, here is Song of the Week. I'm just going to get off American Idiot. And I'll click Shuffle, and it is. But honestly, by the Foo Fighters on Echo, Silence, Patience, and Grace. Personally, I don't know really anything about this song, actually. I've... Honestly, I've never heard it. <laughs> Didn't get it because the song's named Bust, but honestly, I've never heard the song, so just just check it out. Maybe you'll like it, but honestly, by the Foo Fighters on Echo, Silence, Patience, and Grace. And that basically wraps up Rock Block for today. Um, I got a PS3 for Christmas, so that means I have a PlayStation Store account, which means that you guys could become friends with me on the PlayStation Network. All you have to do is send us a request, then I'll maybe I'll probably approve it. Maybe I won't. You'll see. But as you send the request, go on the little comment thing, like above, like the thing, and then just write a message saying your name and why you want to be friends with the Rock Block. And um, our Rock Block thing, well, my PlayStation Network thing is going to be at the bottom of your screen right now. Watch out! Watch out! Are you seeing this? Ah, uh, there it is. it's right there. Just, just, just check it out. And that basically wraps up Rock Block for today. So come back tomorrow for another episode of Rock Block. Yes, we officially have 14 subscribers, and like I say every episode, I want more. So what I'm asking my current subscribers to do is to make a video on your thing, telling people to subscribe to the Rock Block, cause I want subscribers, please. I'm looking at you, D guitar numbers, numbers, numbers. Because you have a lot of subscribers. More, more, more than me, but you know, I could use your help. So if you could make a little video on Windows Movie Maker or something, tell people to subscribe to The Rock Block for your latest news and why they should subscribe to The Rock Block. That would be that would that would be great. That would be great. So yep, that basically wraps it up for the last time. As I say that, um, check you later.